Give your attention to the breath. Watch it as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. Listen carefully to what the body needs. Does it need long breathing or short breathing, fast or slow? Give it your full attention. The whole practice begins with the act of giving. We start out with material things, and particularly food, because we live by food. This is how we survive. This is what we all have in common as beings, that we need food to subsist. So when we share food with one another, we're giving life to one another. And the act of giving is an expression of wealth. You notice that the happiest people in the world are not the ones who gather up lots of things. They're the ones who find joy in giving. If they don't have enough material things, they'll be happy to give of their time, give of their energy, give of their knowledge. And in return, there's a happiness that goes deep down inside because it comes with a sense of self-worth and, as I said, a sense of your own wealth. You have more than enough. The people who are constantly acquiring things, acquiring status, they don't have a sense of enough, and they're always poor. They have piles and piles of things, but they're still poor inside. But when you can give, that's when the Buddha is ready to teach you, when you find joy in giving. When he was going to explain the Four Noble Truths, he would start with the topic of generosity. To underline the fact that the truth begins with giving. Good actions begin with giving, because that's what the teachings are all about. They're all about good actions, the things we can do to find a lasting happiness. And goodness, in terms of your actions, begins with the act of giving. So as you go through the day, think of ways in which you can give, and you find that you get more and more a sense of wealth inside. As John Lee would say, it's like taking a fruit, squeezing the juice out of the fruit. What, what you give away is like the, the remains of the fruit. You take the juice, the sense of self-worth that comes from the act of giving. So learn how to appreciate that and look around in your life to see areas where you can be more giving. And that's, way, that's the way in which you develop more and more inner wealth.